Welcome back to the evening session of Flow Fanatic, where we'll be uh, walking through the step-by-step -step solution to tracking page views in Salesforce utilizing Flows. Quick reminder, if you do want to sign up to receive the notifications of the daily challenges, office hours, um, and the evening solutions, go ahead and sign up at flowfanatic.force.com. All right, we're going to jump right into the solution. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. All right, so the real big trick uh, with this one um, is knowing that uh, Salesforce screen flows, when you embed them on a lightning page, those will run on page load, okay? So the trick here is we're gonna create a screen flow. We're gonna embed it on a lightning page. When it runs, we're basically going to tell Salesforce, hey, go ahead and create a record similar to the audit record that we did yesterday, but instead we're gonna just create a record called a page view record. And we're gonna populate who the user is, who's accessed that page and what the date is or the date time. So I'm gonna start off by creating that data structure. I'll click on object manager. And when I say the data structure, I'm referring to a custom object to hold the uh, data related to that page view. I'm gonna come in, click on create, custom object. I'm going to call this page view and then the plural label i'll call it page views i'm going to scroll down similar to the previous videos i don't need a name for this page view i'm just going to give it an id data type of auto number i'm going to call this page view id 000 and i'm going to start it at one go ahead and scroll down. I'll click save. All right. So what are the attributes that we want to track? Well, we want to know who went to the page and we want to know what time they went to the page at, or sorry, what date they went to the page at. We also need to connect this to a particular record. So just a side note, if you do want to use this functionality for multiple objects, that is totally possible you'll create a separate lookup field for each one of those objects. We're just going to focus on accounts here, but you would create a lookup for accounts, for opportunities, for um, any, any other object that you're uh, looking to get this type of data on. We'll go ahead and select new. We'll come down. We're going to go ahead and create a date time field. We'll select next. We can call this uh, date. Select next, next, save. All right, let's create that lookup field to connect this to the account. Okay, go ahead and specify the account. Next, next, save. Then we'll do it one more time. We'll go ahead and create a lookup field or the user, or to connect it to which user, right, is visiting that record. All right, awesome. So we have a field to track which user is visiting the page. We have a date timestamp for when they visited that page. And then we have a lookup field to connect it to the specific account that they um, uh, open up. Now we need a flow. So we need the automation that's going to run behind the scenes that's going to go ahead and create this record for us. So we're going to go ahead and click on home. The quick find box will type in flow. Go ahead and select flows. We'll select new flow. Okay. And again, the big trick here is we need a screen flow. I'll go ahead and select screen flow. I'll select next. I'll select auto layout. I'm going to go ahead and click actually before I do this. Um, so with screen flows, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to pass the record ID from the record that you're opening up, right? So we may open up ABC account. We need to go ahead and pass that record ID into the flow so that the flow has access to it and it knows what account we are going to associate this page view to. So in order to do that, 
you're going to click on new resource. We're going to create a variable. This is very important. We need to spell it exactly as this record, uppercase I, lowercase d. So record ID. We're going to store this as a text field. And we need to make this available for input. And then Salesforce, without doing anything, is going to automatically populate this field for us with the current record ID. All right, so next up, we are going to go ahead and click on plus. I'm gonna scroll down and we are going to add in a screen component, okay? And the screen component's gonna be completely blank, okay? So we're actually just gonna call this a blank screen. We can give it a blank screen that uh, basically triggers uh, load to run on page load, on account page load. We're going to remove the header. We're going to remove the footer. We're going to click done. Okay. And then we're going to come down and click on this plus icon. And now we need to go ahead and tell Salesforce, tell this flow that we want to create that record, that page view record. We're going to scroll to the bottom to create records. Under label, I'm going to call this create page view. Copy that into the description. In this case, we're only creating one record. And then under how to set the record fields, I'm going to choose use separate resources and literal values. I'm going to specify the object, which is page field. And then I'm going to set the fields. So I'm going to set the account, which is equal to none other than the record ID that Salesforce is going to pass to us. I'm going to set the user. Let's scroll all the way down. I have access to the user that is basically causing this to fire. Select ID. And then I'm going to populate a date. And this is a date time. So we can go flow, current date time, done, and save. And we're going to call this page view screen flow. Save. All right, these issues don't prevent activation, but can cause problems. The bank blank screen is missing navigation. That's okay for us. We don't need navigation. We're going to click activate. We're going to come back. We want to come back to the account. We're going to click on object manager. Account. We want to go ahead and add this related list of page views to the account. I will go and I'll click on page layout. And let's see, page layout assignment, just so I can see which layout we're currently using. We're using the, looks like the account layout. I'm gonna scroll down. I can see page views. I'm gonna hit the wrench icon. I'm gonna move the date field over. I'm gonna remove the ID. I'm gonna specify the user. Move that just above the date. Click okay, click save. I'm going to go ahead and uh, load the sales app. I'm going to click on accounts. I'm going to click on edge communications. I'm going to click on related. I'm going to scroll down. And we can see our uh, related list right here. It's not populated, right? And that's okay because we haven't added the flow to the screen yet, right? So the flow is not running yet. So I'm going to move my video over for just a second. Click on the gear icon. I'll click edit page. I'm going to go ahead and add that flow component to this screen. And I'm actually going to embed it right here, just underneath the related lists. Um, and actually, to make this a little cleaner for today's demo, I'm going to remove this related list component. I'm going to search for the single related list. I'm going to go ahead and drag that in. 
change this to page views. Great. I'm going to remove this other stuff in here. All right. And then I'm going to add in that flow component that I just built. I'm going to add it right down here. You'll notice that this is checked pass record ID into this variable, right? That's how we're going to do that pass for us um, so that we know which account to associate the page view with. We're going to go ahead and click on save. I'm going to go ahead and click the back button. Page is going to load. Okay, and I selected the wrong flow. Let me go ahead and try that one more time. Edit page, scroll down to related. Click on here, and I had the wrong flow selected. We want the page view screen flow. I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to move the page views over to the right. I'm going to get rid of these quick links. Um, and I'm going to move the flow component over there. I'm also going to go ahead and add a tab over here. And the reason I'm going to add a tab is if I don't add a tab, we're going to get just a little slight sliver of white space because this flow is completely blank, but it's still going to show up on the screen right now. And it's not going to look as neat as if we add a tab. We're going to call this tab page views. We're going to drag page views up and then we're going to drag the flow component right in there nice and tucked away we're going to get rid of this extra tab called details we're going to get rid of the related tab over here and the reason that we want this flow component on the main screen is because right now if we have it in another tab that flow is not going to load and fire until we select that tab, which wouldn't give us a real indication of how many page views there were. So we actually want this right on kind of the first screen that loads. We'll go ahead and click save. We'll hit the back button. Let's refresh this one more time. All right, let's see what is not working. All right, so just a quick update. I believe the reason that that didn't work is I think these need to be switched around. So I'm going to go ahead and swap the order of these items. There we go. I go ahead and save this and hit activate. And let's try this one more time. All right, so I am back. Um, I figured out what the problem was. If we come back to the account, um, when I went ahead and changed the flow to the correct flow, page view screen flow, I forgot to check this box. So the record ID wasn't being passed. I'll go ahead and click save, click the back button. And voila, it worked. So, um, we're on edge communications. If I refresh the screen, it's going to go ahead and create another record. Okay, so now we have two. I'll refresh it again. Okay, you might notice that the time's slightly off. Uh, this org is set to PST. Um, I'm in uh, Eastern Standard Time right now, um, so that's the uh, the difference in time right there. But we can see which user visited and what date and time this user came to this page. Just to show you one more example. Click on all accounts, click on express logistics, and there we go. 244, the time's reported. So anyway, I hope this is a cool piece of functionality uh, that you guys will uh, want to implement. Uh, if there's any questions, feel free to send those questions my way um, and hope you all have a, a good evening. Bye. -bye.